Hey everyone, I am very excited about today's podcast because I'm going to be talking about some of the clients that I'm representing right now. And if you think you might be a good match for one of them, or if you know someone that could be a good match for one of them, please go to my website, carolinasmatchmaker.com, fill out a profile, and I will be in touch with you if I think you could be a good match for one of my clients. Now, as you may or may not realize, my practice basically is I offer traditional matchmaking for men, which means men hire me and I've got a very large database of women who could potentially be um, chosen to be introduced to one of my clients. And it is a completely free option for these women. Um, and I set up the whole introduction. I run background checks on people. Everybody feels really safe and secure. People meet up for a meal and then we talk afterwards and also people fill out a date survey. So it's a very white glove concierge service that I offer to men with traditional matchmaking. The women love it because they don't have to pay and they get an opportunity to potentially be matched. Um, of course, there are some women that would like to be a little more proactive with their dating life. And what I do for women is I get them online dating. Um, I get them on match. We do styling and great pictures, help select the photos. And then we help women with their profiles. And then we launch them um, on match.com. And then every week, myself or one of my staff members are on a Zoom call with them talking about the five prospects that we find for them um, in our in our match research, as well as all of the people that are coming in, liking them. Um, we're in their inbox. We're helping them with communication. Eventually, we're talking about um, the dates that they're going on and how to take it from online dating to offline dating. Um, and then it turns into relationship coaching. And then we also assist them with background checks and whatnot. So it's a very, very comprehensive program. And I do that because it's really successful. Um, you can check out my Google reviews if you want to see a little bit more about that. But for today, what we are going to be talking about is some of the men that I'm representing and see if you know anyone that could be a match for them. Okay. Uh, the first one that I'm just going to give like uh, a first initial so that um, people can't figure it out um, and Google people. But anyway, I'm representing a gentleman. I'm going to say W is the first initial of his name. Um, he is 51 and lives in the Triangle area of North Carolina. Um, he is six foot. He affiliates spiritual, not religious, um, athletic in tone. He's in really great shape. He is from the Raleigh area originally, but he's lived in other cities as well. Um, but he's back there. He has a close relationship with his family. He has two sons, um, one who's already out of the house and one who is still in high school. And they are with him about 50% of the time. Um, he has a graduate degree, has got a really great job um, in the financial industry. Um, he is looking for kind of the girl next door type, um, somebody who's fit, somebody who's very active. He wants somebody who exercises on a regular basis and takes care of herself. And he's also looking for somebody who's smart and professional and loves to get outside. A beach lover is a plus, um, you know, somebody who loves to have a great conversation, knows how to have fun. And he's truly looking for his best friend and his lifetime partner. Um, he loves someone who's available to travel for like quick little weekend getaways. Um, someone who likes nice dining and just going out during the week or just simple nights in, um, somebody who can hang out with him and work out clothes or get dressed for a night out on the town. And he is looking to get married again regarding political affiliation. He leans conservative, but he's open to dating someone regardless of their party affiliation, as long as they aren't too far left. Um, in terms of what he likes to do in his spare time, anything from exercise, getting on the water, live music, nice dinners, trying new places. Um, he loves to travel, like I said before, for a fun weekend spot like Nashville or Boston or long weekend getaways to Cabo or the Caribbean. Um, and he loves to go try new places as well. 
So, uh, oh, friends describe him as fun, smart, hardworking, loyal, family oriented, and dedicated. If you think he sounds like a good match for you or one of your friends, please fill out the profile and I will look forward to reading it and I will let you know. Okay, on to my next bachelor. I have a 36 year old gentleman who lives in Charlotte. He's five foot 11, Caucasian, um, affiliates Protestant. He's in great shape. Um, he went to a big uh, university for college in the South. He is a business, small business owner um, and he makes a nice living. He would like to get married and have children. He's looking for somebody who has not had kids before. Um, in terms of what he's looking for, he's really looking for a relationship with a marriage minded woman. Um, he is finding it harder to meet people because a lot of his friends are married and they're starting to have kids. Um, and as we all know, it is hard to meet people period. Um, so in terms of, um, what he likes to do in his spare time, he likes, um, he's got a dog, so he likes playing, walking, or hiking with his dog. He likes pickleball, catching up with friends, checking in with family. He's got nieces and nephews that he's close to. In terms of political affiliation, he is more conservative leaning in terms of finance and overall reasoning, but it does not mean that he needs a partner who is conservative. Um, his friends describe him as loyal, honest, dependable, humble, and agreeable. He is a really good guy. He's a little bit shy, but he definitely is a secure person and very kind and comes from a really good family. Um, and they're all really close. I've enjoyed getting to know him. Oh, and his initial is T. So if you're interested in meeting T, you know what to do. Go to my website, fill it out. Let me know you're interested. Okay. And the last bachelor that I'd like to talk to you about, um, we're going to call him C. Um, is 29. He lives in uh, Charlotte area. He's five foot 10, Protestant, athletic and toned, Caucasian. Um, he is really close to his family. He's got a sister who's two and a half years older than him. Um, and um, they're super, super tight. He went to school in Georgia he makes a nice living, um, works for one of the banks. Um, he is looking for someone who's 26 to 32, which I love because a lot of pe times people tell me they're looking for younger, but he would date a little bit older because he's 29. Um, he is open to all ethnicities, um, all religions, generally attracted to more fit athletic body types. Um, he is looking for someone who is authentic, well-balanced, passionate about living life, pursuit of interest, career, self-improvement, et cetera, intellectually curious, fun, definitely more of a cerebral kind of a guy, I would say. Um, he, his views might be, politically speaking, might be more center right, um, but he's mostly interested in someone who's open-minded and is willing to consider all sides of an argument. Um, he is a lifelong musician. Um, he is a triathlete. He is an avid reader, an active investor. He's a new homeowner. He plays tennis, likes to ski, spend time with family, best friends. He makes trips every few months to visit um, family in Atlanta. Friends describe him as creative, ambitious, sincere, quiet, and caring. So if you're interested in meeting him, see, uh, please let me know. So those are the three bachelors for today. And I will look forward to, to hearing from you if you were interested in meeting any of them.